And so we come to the second award sponsored by the BBC. This is the Best Newcomer Award. And as we said at the beginning of the show, listeners to Radio 1 are glued to their radios at the moment. They were responsible for this award because they did the voting. And to tell us a bit more about it, one of the top jocks, if not the top jock on Radio 1, Steve Wright. It was so funny. What can I say? Anything you want. Can I? You've got to Evening. be less trouble than he was. He was. He sounded great this morning. Didn't he sound great on the breakfast show this Get morning? With it. Terrific. Okay. Well, this is Radio One's <laughs> award for best newcomer. Wish you hadn't done. Uh, that. Before that, can I do some messages, Noel? Can Anything you want. Messages? Okay. From the music industry to the radio audience, please stop taping records off the radio because it makes us so angry, right? It is naughty. Uh, to Mike Reed, who is somewhere here tonight, can you stop playing guitar on the radio? <laughs> that was popular. Uh, to the toy dolls, don't make any more records ever. And we just have a quickie here. In, can I do this from Hollywood? This is just in from Hollywood, Noel. Uh, it's from Michael Jackson, and it says, Dear PPI Awards, I'm not gay. <laughs> and also, can I, just a quick word to the record companies. <laughs> can you please lower the price of albums and singles so that people, you know, can actually afford to buy them? Would you do that, please? How much of a hole do you want to dig? I mean, you want to keep going? Now, can I do this now? <laughs> Three, two, one, please. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Okay, Radio One Best British Newcomer Award in reverse order. Number three, Bronski Beat. What a rowdy lot. Two, Nick Kershaw. And the 1984 British newcomers who received the most votes from Radio 1 listeners were Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Well, it's pretty difficult to think of Frankie Goes to Hollywood as newcomers to this industry. They've had more success and publicity in one year than many bands have in their entire careers. A lot of that started with the banning of their first record, Relax, which went on to become the fourth biggest UK bestseller of all time. Radio 1 newcomers of 1984, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've got to say something now. Um, <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you, that's a good one. <laughs> we won. <laughs> can we go home now? Well, they can go. They can go. Could you stay? Oh, right. Right, if Hollywood stays, thank, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yeah.